Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a brief overview how to play of my city and a full playthrough. This is a legacy game and it's meant to be played um, over 24 episodes. There is another side to the board where you can play Eternal, but um, they do say so one of the players playing would need to play through at least five episodes of the legacy game before you would want to do that. Um, it's four, four, up to four players can play. It's two to four players. And basically you would put the, you name your city here. So you, you're writing on the board um, and you pick the, there's 24 construction pieces. You pick the construction piece, pieces that match the animal on your board. They're all the same. We have the same tiles, but it helps you to quickly be able to distinguish which tiles um, each player is supposed to get. Each player starts off at the 10 points and you will be adding um, points at the end of the game. I will explain that in a second, but you can lose points during the game as well if you're unable or decide not to play one of your construction pieces and you want to continue playing you have to pay one point. You can stop participation and not lose any points, but at that point, you would not get to place any more tiles. So whatever you have is what you score at the end of the game. The game, the episode ends when one, when either both players or all players have stopped participating or two you went through the entire construction deck. Um, then we're doing chapter one, the new land, and in that envelope, this isn't a spoiler since it's your first envelope, you have the scoring sheet. The rules are, the basic rules are the same, which I'll explain to you. So you could see it has the first three episodes. The first episode, you get minus one for each rock showing. Each on the board, it starts out with two rocks on one space, so that's negative two for each space with the two rocks. Going forward, you're going to gain stickers and things with um, one or two trees or one or two rocks. So that's where that comes in play, where it's minus one each rock. So it would be minus two for this space with the two rocks. You get plus one for each tree that's um, showing that's not covered. So um, this would be plus two if you left each, each of these trees would be two points if they're not covered up. You can cover up your rocks and your trees, um, and you do want to cover up the rocks. However, um, the trees are what gains you points at the end of the game. You get minus one for each green, light green uh, space that's showing that's not covered at the end of the game. Um, you cannot cover up the rocks, these rocks here, or these bushes. You can't cover those up at all. The river, you can't go, you cannot go across the river, but you can play right beside the river, um, there. And your very first piece has to be at least one side completely touching the river. And after that, each piece has to be touching at least one complete side. You can't do little corners. Each has to be a complete side touching each other. It does count if you put, you have a piece on this side of the river and you have a piece on the other side of the river, that's considered touching. So that's one way to bypass that rule. Um, again, you do want to cover the rocks if you can. Um, and as much green as you can, and you want to try to leave the trees showing because that's how you gain points in this episode. As you can see, each episode changes a little bit. So on episode two, you score for all the things in episode one, plus um, additional one is a number of buildings in the largest group of each color. So that means basically... If you had a group of these red ones together and then you had a group of two of the yellow and you had like a group of two of the blue, 
you would score one, two, three for your red, which has three tiles. So however many tiles you have for that color that's your largest group, you get the points for that. And then episode three, four buildings next to a well. Um, there will be... Where is it? There's no whales starting out, but... Um, no, you can already put... And, uh... So... You do get well stickers yeah. later, but so I don't know how you would get points for that. But we didn't go to episode three. We've basically just played episode one to learn the game. Um, right here you get well. Yeah, but that's in that episode. <laughs> yeah, I don't. We would have to read on with that. But the, as you can see, that's how it goes, and it's meant to be be played three episodes at a time at least, so you kind of get the thematic feel to it. Um, but you're welcome to stop at any time and just make a note of where you stopped. And at the end of the first episode, the first we're playing a two player game, so we only score on the first and other. The first player will get to mark in two circles on their progress track. And the way you win this game, at the end of the 24 episodes, who ha whoever has the most progress circles filled in wins. Um, and the other player, the second place player on a two-player game, gets a sticker with a tree that they get to place anywhere on their board. So this board is yours. Once you write on it, play with it, this is your board to play with for all the episodes. Um, the first player... not. Although they get the two progress circles, they have to put a sticker on with two rocks on there. So it kind of gives them a little bit of a disadvantage for the next episode. Um, if you say you started with four players in this game and you want a, one of the players didn't stay in your game, game group or they were just basically a kind of a casual player, um, you can substitute, if you have someone else that wants to start playing later in the game, you would just have them finish, start where the other person finished off, is basically how you do it. That's one thing about this game, you kind of have to know, like with us, we're a three-player group, because we have Quentin, so if we want to play this legacy throughout, we need to decide, ask Quentin very, at the very first, do you want to play this? Because if he doesn't start out with us on the first episode, it would be, he really couldn't play. I mean, that's that's the one hindrance of it. So in that instance, as long as we know what we're doing, we could then go to the Eternal and just play that instead and play it just a regular board game, the Eternal one. Um, but you do need to have a grasp on the game and play at least five episodes before you can do that, it says. Um, but this reminds me of Tetris, this game, because you basically have these shapes that you're placing, you're drawing cards, and you're placing the shapes um, where they'll fit within those boundaries. Um, so I think that's about it, right? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty simple game. Um, and these are the construction cards we'll be pulling. The idea of the game is you place them at the, your construction tiles at the same time, and supposedly there's no... Um, hesitation but you know you're going to have people thinking about what they're going to do so you ready mm -hmm. so our first one is i'm not good with spatial so i kind of have a hard time telling what the tiles are sometimes and remember the first one has to go by the river so that was actually a good card you can't do that what are you doing what are you talking about oh i thought that was across the river it tricked me yeah, she's not good with spatial. it looked weird he actually didn't cross the river he stuck it there in the little Okay. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, but you already did yours. Yeah, I did. See, I can't change mine. That was a good idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Then we have this one, right? Yep. I can place that there. It worked out. Okay. Kind of getting lucky on the pulls. Okay. 
So I was able to cover up my rocks there. That worked out. Okay, and let's see. It's not weird, Sam. Chance. Oh. Our dog is mad because we took his bully stick away. He was being too too loud and he went a little obsessed with it. <laughs> To the tune of that, uh, it's always gnawed on all one. day. I'm surprised he don't has lock, doesn't have locked jaw. These are hard to place. I don't want to cover up my tree, so I'm going to put it here. Hmm. I'm still placing mine. Let me see. Wait. All right, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, these are hard. That's what I've been waiting for. Now you will have um, spots that are pretty much green. It's almost impossible to not. Yeah. Which one is that one? This one? Oh, yeah, it's this one. I connected. I ain't right. Mm. She got lucky. Thanks, this one. Nope. I have to either stop or pay one, which I'm, and you turn them over when you don't place them. And I'm just going to go backwards to nine. So I don't get any more points against me. I already paid the price. I didn't have enough spots for that. Ugh. Same thing. Go backwards 10 or backwards one. Okay, 
managed to cover all my rocks but one or two, I guess you should say. But Ugh. wow, I got lucky. Look, I can't do that one. Ha! It's a perfect spot for it. Okay, I can't really get it to go down, and but it's, fine. it's in there. It's not overlapping. I don't want to break them. Got a lot of choices on this one. Like in the episode three, this would have been a good play. Okay. I know I'm gonna stop. I don't have anywhere. So I'm just stopping and I'm not. Um, moving forward, so I'm stopping participation, so I don't lose any more points. Okay, so now we score. Okay. It's you don't lose points because you there was no progressing anymore. You wouldn't lose any more points for that. Oh, I thought I was saying about put it. Yeah, because you stop participation without going on technically. Okay. Because you're paying basically to place more tiles. Okay, so we um, get plus one for each tree. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get um, 18 two, from four, a tree. Six, eight, ten, so. Okay, then we get 10. minus one for each rock showing. I have two showing. And then. Wow. And then we get minus one for each light green space. Nine, so I'm at ten. I have one point <laughs> because I couldn't place these. That hurt me. So in this instance, Anthony would get to fill in two progress circles, and he would get a sticker to place on his board wherever he wants with two rocks, and I would get a tree sticker with one tree to place anywhere I want on my board. Um, so. That's, that's, a, we're only going to play the one episode because we don't want to totally spoil. spoil it for you. But there's different envelopes, um, three episodes, I think, in each envelope. So mm -hmm. there's eight envelopes. This one is the new land one. And you just um, continue progressing. And then once you're done with all 24 episodes, the game doesn't end there. You would flip the board over and then you play the eternal version for, from now on. And then anyone can play with you at that point because... You know how to play the game, so you could you have enough understanding to teach them how to play the game. So it really never ends, but um, it's meant to play the legacy version first and then continue on with the eternal version. So hopefully this gave you enough information to decide whether this is the right game for you. Um, it's kind of a, if you like tile placement, Tetris seed like games, this would probably be a relaxing game. Anthony really enjoys yeah. this game. I'm not good with spatial, and so for me, these type of games are a little frustrating. They're not relaxing, but Anthony <laughs> loves it. So it's basically a toss-up of what you like. I mean, I would play it with them. It's not like I wouldn't play it, but... She would just get dominated. I'm just not good. I'm not good at them. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give us a like. Uh, feel free to leave any comments or questions. We will put the product link in the description if you want to check this game out for yourself. I know it's a very highly rated game. A lot of people love it, so um, don't take uh, what I say as a I enjoy it as a bad thing. It's, <laughs> everyone likes different types of styles of games, and Anthony really loves this game. I think Quentin would like this game. Oh yeah, as he really loves likes, Tetris. Yeah, he would love this game. Um, so. If you're not already, please subscribe to our channel and because we put out a lot of content. Thank you again for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time.